Gerald Owens is here now with one man's mission to stop bullying. David Glenn Sutton is now a teacher. Years ago, growing up in Washington, D.C., he experienced bullying firsthand. That's why he came up with a way to help those suffering through it to heal. He'll share that message next at 5.30. I think she took her own life. She didn't feel like she was worth anything. Right now in WRAL, the tragic consequences of bullying and the rallying cry to end it in school. Authorities in Florida are looking into criminal charges after a 12-year-old girl committed suicide this week. They say she had been bullied online. Hello, I'm Gerald Owens. And I'm Jackie Hyland. With this national case, we wanted to take a look at bullying cases right here in our state. In the last school year, schools in North Carolina reported 822 cases of physical bullying. When it comes to cyberbullying, there were 449 cases. Now, that's up from 265 the year before. Brian Mims shows us one local teacher who's found a creative way to tackle the taunting. I could almost transform them right, I mean, instantly, right there. Back there, before the shiny blazer, before he oozed self-confidence like the sweat on his head, Glenn Sutton was... No, fat, ugly, stupid. He believed it because it came from Chuck. Chuck was cool. Chuck drew a crowd when he drew punches. And the more they cheered him on, the harder he hit. And this went on. Fast forward a quarter century to this home video. Who's cool now? <laughs> That's Mr. Sutton doing his rap at Lumberton High School, where he's a teacher. The rap has but six words. So uh, I use boom, ah, what, hit him again. Six words that tell of his torment by Chuck. By sharing his story, this once beat up kid is trying to knock out bullying. And I said, well, my what is it? Are you? Maybe I can rap. But I, but I couldn't rap. He got into the beat soon enough. Now he's traveling to different schools, performing at Friday night football games. He hears the stories, and they come like a sucker punch to his heart. The girl in Florida committed suicide after she was bullied, no, terrorized online. Do you think it's worse nowadays than it was when you were coming up? It's worse now? Much worse, much worse. Because now kids now they have the internet. But what is a kid to do? For one, he says, speak up. All that you need is some, is some committed people that's going to have their eyes open. He's speaking there to teachers. See something, do something, and follow up. Do you see bullying at Lumberton High School? No, I'm there. That's right. <laughs> hey, if it is, I, should, I shouldn't be there. His story, set to rap, is reverberating. I get so many kids, man, they hug me. It seems like it's a connection. Childhood passes, you grow up. Now, look who's cool. In 2009, North Carolina passed two anti-bullying laws. One makes cyberbullying a misdemeanor. The other requires school districts to have policies against bullying, but it does not spell out any punishment. And, oh yeah, you can catch Mr. Sutton's videos on YouTube where <laughs> the hits just keep coming, Jackie. It's great. Brian Mims live in our bureau at the Fayetteville Observer. Thank you, Brian.